When sampling an incoming shipment of roofing granules, it is imperative that you obtain a truly representative sample. This will allow a correlation with the grade 3M obtained upon shipment using the same sampling techniques. Grab or scoop sampling is simply not good enough. This is because granule particles will segregate under any sort of free movement. A representative sample will make sure you get a true picture of the entire load. To begin, you will need a good sized bucket and a manual granule sampler, like this one, or an automatic sampler. The sampler is designed to prevent overflowing and spillage which can distort the quality of the sample. Select the location to take your sample where the granules are falling freely in an unobstructed stream. The number of sampling cuts you should take depends on the size of the shipment you're checking. The greater the tonnage, the more cuts you need to take for a representative sample. For example, with a 100 ton load, you'll need to take 10 full cuts. Also be sure not to sample the first or last 5% of the load. You will not get an accurate result. Take each cut by passing the sampler slowly through the stream of granules and back again. Then empty the sampler into the container. Take the cuts on an equal time basis throughout the unloading to maintain sample accuracy. Taking all the cuts at the same time will destroy accuracy. When you've taken the proper number of cuts, you're ready for the next step, preparing the sample for grading. This next step will assure that your sample is representative of the load. You will first split the larger sample into a 200 to 250 gram sample. During the initial stage, divide the original sample in half. Then split that half into half again. Keep splitting the original sample until you get the 200 to 250 gram quantity needed, which will be as representative of the original sample as possible. It is important to weigh this sample accurately and to record this initial weight to two decimal places. The final stage will establish the exact grade of granules in the entire shipment. Following the ASTM method D451, you'll use a Rotap machine or an equivalent. Make sure that the proper Tyler sieves or the U.S. equivalents are in the stack for the granule grade for which you are testing. The proper sieve sizes are named in the appropriate 3M product specification sheet. Run the test according to the ASTM D451 test procedure, which requires a duration of five minutes, plus or minus 10 seconds. Since you know the initial weight of the split sample, weighing the contents of each sieve after the ROTAP procedure, and dividing that weight by the total initial sample weight, will give you the percent retained on each sieve. This full sampling procedure may seem overly precise, but each step is vital to an accurate, representative result. Throughout the processing of roofing granules, 3M takes great care to assure that the grade and color delivered to customers is precise. The sampling procedure you have just seen is representative of the sampling we perform to assure the grades of our product. To be accurate, you must take a careful, representative sample. <laughs>